Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus Christ is risen today. Good morning. Good morning. The St. Regis Parish Faith Community gathers for the liturgical celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to fully participate in the liturgy as a community by praying and singing together. There is only one collection today. Please put all envelopes in the one collection. There are three announcements. St. Regis is having its second annual comedy show on Saturday, April 18th at the Manchester Room on Britton Avenue in Trafford. 
A basket raffle and a 50-50 are planned for the evening. Tickets are on sale at the entrances of the church. All youth in grades 5 through 12 should have already received a permission form to attend our end of the year outing to fund slides on Sunday, April 26th. Permission forms must be returned to the Faith Formation Office by Sunday, April 19th. If you have any questions about fund slides or need a permission form, please contact Stephanie in the Faith Formation Office. More information is in the bulletin. Vacation Bible School will be three days from June 1st to June 3rd. The Vacation Bible School program needs youth and adult volunteers to help with various activities. If you are a fun-loving person who likes working with children, sign up to be part of our Vacation Bible School team. Contact the Faith Formation Office. Okay, let's all grab a hymn, though, now that I did that. Let's turn to 562. Jesus Christ is risen today. 562, please. Okay, sounds good. Hi, Hank.
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. Amen. What a glorious day today is as we celebrate the Lord winning salvation for each and every one of us. And to see so many of you gathered here, uh, beautiful sight, beautiful colors you're all wearing. And let's pause at this moment as we thank the Lord for the gift of our salvation. But let's also pray that as a show of our gratitude, we live our lives uh, the way he would like us to. In other words, following the example of Christ and loving one another. For those times that we have failed through human weakness, we acknowledge our failures and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. On this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and un unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, you know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a cross. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, 
the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be right hand is exalted. I shall not die, but live on you, declaring the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast 
leavens all the dough. Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praise. A lamb, a sheep, redeems Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to Peace. 
Our brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with each of you. And now let us att listen attentively to our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and she saw that the stone was removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and she told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. And so Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, a happy Easter to all of you, to our visitors, a beautiful warm welcome to each and every one of you. And so that I do not forget later on, a few little thank yous that I wish to extend at this time. You all know who has been busy helping to get this week ready uh, for this beautiful grand celebration. And I don't want to go through a lot of specific names, but for those who cleaned, for those who were here late the other evening decorating, for our different ministries throughout the entire Triduum weekend. Uh, my altar servers, I do want to thank them because preparing for this weekend is a little bit different from a regular Sunday or Saturday evening service. And they've been doing just a tremendous job. So I want to thank each and every one of you for the uh, extra effort and extra time that you've put into this weekend. Also to our music department, um, what can I say? Florence has been doing one heck of a job and she's got Kevin with her at the keyboard. She got the choir, the bell choir. She's got the uh, chorale back there. Three different services between last night and this morning, three different repertoires. Uh, I think she got three hours of sleep, Kevin and I. He went home, got four hours of sleep. I think I got five this morning, and uh, we're only running on coffee and dark chocolate right now, keeping us going. So um, my personal thanks to all of you who have been doing such a great job. Those of you uh, who were not here when I came to the parish three years ago um, would not have heard me say it then, but my very first weekend mass uh, three years ago in March of whatever year that was, 2012, um, my first impression was I felt like I was being treated better than the bishop at the masses. Florence has everything so well orchestrated and coordinated. She leaves notes around so I know what to expect. Um, and then to hear the singing from a small, almost country, suburban parish. Um, many parishes, much larger than this, does, do not sing the way we do here and participate. And so as I extend gratitude and congratulations to our ministries, congratulations to all of you in the congregation as well, because that's what celebrating is all about. It's just not coming here, sitting and putting in time, but it's becoming uh, a part of the celebration as we participate in the prayers, as we uh, participate with the various songs as well. So a note of gratitude goes to each of you as well that you help make 
every weekend celebration something special because it is the Lord is with us and that's what we're celebrating this weekend in a very special way because when the disciples arrived at the tomb on that first Easter Sunday they found it empty and they're wondering what's going on I mean the events of the previous three days and whole week as a matter of fact from that first Palm Sunday through the Passover celebration at the Last Supper to observing the crucifixion taking down from the cross and the burial very distraught very depressed what's happening what do we do now where do we go from here all these thoughts had to have been going through their minds and the women arrive at the tomb first and they find the stone rolled away the guards are not there they look inside the body of Jesus is not there and the only thing remaining are the burial cloths that were on Jesus and the shroud that covered his face but neatly folded up and placed where the head would have been on the stone and then Peter and the other disciple as he is described in the gospel account and John is writing that this, uh, the particular gospel that we heard and so rather than identifying himself by name he identifies himself as the other disciple and so Peter and John arrive and remember John is the younger of the Apostles he is the one that has been given the title the beloved and Peter looks in he's confused but John looks in and something clicks in his mind he remembers from an earlier conversation that Jesus was preparing the Apostles and all the other disciples that the Son of Man is going to suffer at the hands of sinful men that the Son of Man is going to be put to a cruel death and buried but on the third day Jesus was already preparing them with this message of hope but on the third day he would be raised and John looks in and that message kicks in his mind and he remembers he is raised but where is he now but where is he now and then we are told in one of the other gospel accounts that the angel greets all of them and tells the women go and tell the other disciples to go into Galilee there you will find him and we will hear that as the days unfold ahead of us John truly loved Christ in a very special way and if we really love someone we believe in them even in those very difficult times in those trying times and as we journeyed with Christ over the last few days through the whole, uh, Last Supper on Holy Thursday to reenacting the uh, Passion narrative on Good Friday last evening as we kicked off Easter with the Easter Vigil we come here and we sometimes might be looking into the empty tomb as well where is our belief where is our faith sometimes our faith might be shrouded with tears as the women were crying at the foot of the cross sometimes we might be like Peter thinking back of our of former life our past life the sins that we've committed the blunders the areas where we've screwed up and we're wondering can God ever forgive me for what I've done and yet we know as Peter found out God can forgive he forgives even the thief on the cross who asked it of him and so today we come with the eyes of faith we come with the disciples and with them we realize the Lord truly is risen when we look out into the world and see the problems maybe um, within our own families we have problems this whole weekend teaches us one basic lesson no matter who we are none of us is going to an escape a Good Friday experience when everything seems to be going along really good and we're up on cloud nine something happens in our lives that knocks the breath out of us takes the wind out of us it could be the death of a loved one it could be the breakup of a good relationship with another person maybe it's an economic problem maybe as we turn on the TV and watch the news or read the newspaper 
were upset over the problems that exist between nations. But this weekend teaches us one basic lesson. With every Good Friday that we may have to experience, there is an Easter Sunday. And with that Easter Sunday, a resurrection that lifts all of that from us so that we can get on with life. This is what Jesus told the disciples on that first Easter Sunday. I am with you always, even till the end of time. And as disciples of his, as followers of Jesus, as brothers and sisters with him and with each other, we have received the light of Christ on the day of our baptism. And as we heard last evening in the ancient hymn, The Exultet, as we took a light from this candle and shared it with every light, the light was divided, but the original light was never undimmed. It remains burning brightly, just as Christ remains burning brightly within each of our lives. And as we receive that light of Christ on the day of our baptism, we now have been entrusted to share the message of hope that we receive. And so on this Easter Sunday, we do not shed tears. We sing Alleluia, realizing where Christ has gone, we will follow. Again, we may have those Good Fridays, but we know that with every Good Friday is going to be an Easter Sunday. From all of us here at St. Regis, especially from our staff, we extend to all of you a wonderful, blessed, and happy Easter. To our visitors who are with us, uh, our prayers are with you, that God travel with you, providing you with safety in your journey. Happy Easter, and God bless you. Our dear brothers and sisters in Christ, through the Paschal Mystery, we have all been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observances are concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask all of us who are present, do we renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I think we could have done better than that. I'm not sure all of you are certain we want to live in the freedom. So I'm going to ask that again and see if we can do it better. And so I ask, do we renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Now we're talking as people of faith. Do we renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over us? I do. And do we renounce Satan, who is the author and the prince of sin? I do. I do. do we believe in God, the Father Almighty, who is the creator of heaven and earth? I do. do we believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, but rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. And do we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, May that same God keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Oh. 
that only happens once a year, actually twice, maybe three times, who knows. Let us pray. The response is, risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may she continue to boldly proclaim the joy of the resurrection to all the world. Let us pray. Risen Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all people, that they might come to know the saving power of the resurrection, let us pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those unable to celebrate the resurrection for fear of persecution, that they may be comforted, protected, and delivered from evil, let us pray. Risen Lord, like hear that? our prayer. For our community, that through constant <laughs> prayer and frequent reception of the sacraments, make a on a we foster a life of joy, go, let us way. pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that they may be with Jesus in heaven, let us pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for the people of the parish, let us pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold deep in our hearts, which we now pause to add. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of our men and women in the armed services, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of those traveling during this beautiful holiday season, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. And for those whom the Lord may be calling to serve as a priest, brother or sister, deacon, or other related ministry within the life of the church, that they be willing to follow the call of the Lord, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, we give you praise today, and we give you thanks for the salvation you have won for each and every one of us. We ask that as you answer our prayers in your infinite wisdom, we be willing to live our lives according to your will, and working with you and each other, assist you in the building of a better world where all people will be treated fairly. We make this prayer in your holy name and united with the name of Mary. Amen. Amen.
The presentation hymn is number 578, Hymn of Joy, number 578. Friends, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice. Exalted with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. <clears throat> by dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For it is through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, that you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, to graciously make holy these gifts, that we have brought you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying to them, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying to them, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. <clears throat> look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, St. Regis, and with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Lawrence, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people whom you have gained for your own. And listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you this day. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children who are scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we ask that you give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we join our voices in the prayer that Jesus teaches. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now we take the time to move around and share the Lord's love and peace with one another. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold, this truly is Jesus. Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion hymn is number 633, I am the bread of life, number 
Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sins. Did you put some incense on it? To this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of God womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, press into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits 
who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Somebody lost their shoes. <laughs> uh, just a real quick reminder, at both entrances, we do have the tickets available for the upcoming comedy night. Uh, if you're so inclined, please see Rudy, and I don't know who's on the other side of that door since it's closed, but uh, it's beautiful. We did it last year, and it, grand time was ha had by one and all, so check it out if you can do it. Again, a happy Easter to all of you, and a beautiful day with your friends and families. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. The closing hymn is number 573, All You on Earth, number 573.